once was saved by And the drunk tank And all that said to me Won't see another one And then we sang a song The rare old mountain dew I turned my face away Enough of that, girls and boys. Merry Christmas, or should I say Merry Boxing Day? Um, I thought I'd have to play one of my favourite Christmas songs. I don't actually like many Christmas songs. They, most of them make me feel a little bit sick. Um, but that one was from the Pogues, and that is probably the best Christmas song. I, I'm not going to play it all. Um, and here we are on Boxing Day. I'm going to try a little bit of three-minute chess out, just for a bit of fun. Uh, I'm kind of suffering from shall we say two bad things turkey overload oh my word i had a lot of turkey last night oh i think i ate a turkey for six and there was only two of us so there's a lot of turkey and i think we got through a bottle of champagne about this big as well as um what else do we have well we had a bottle of champagne we had two bottles of carver and we also had, um, I had about four white Russians. So I had, I had a fair, a fair, a fair old drink, shall I say. Um, so you can see Christmas hats, by the way, don't fit my head because I have a ridiculously ginormous head, as you can see. There it goes again. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It just doesn't go around. It can't work. So I've got to put, you know, my head is like the size of, um, I don't know. Um, something big so we're just gonna wear my little hat like this while we play some chess and what's the aim of today well I've got an hour and a half so I should really be streaming this but oh, I can't be bothered because you know I'm still got some suffering to do today I got an hour and a half of me attempting to get my rating go away Christmas hat go away back where you belong in the bin Scrooge they call me um, so what's the plan well the plan is um, I have got, sorry I'm thinking as well, trying to think, it's a struggle sometimes for people like me, I have got, I'm going to give myself about an hour, this will be about an hour long video, now the aim is to real cane it, so I want to get my rating, 2440, I'm playing someone very high here, let's just see who this is, just quickly, um, someone, I don't know, it's someone from Vietnam, um, and the idea is to get my rating up, as much as I can at that time, or maybe lose loads of rating points, because, you know, that's the way things have been going recently, but we'll see. Okay, so what is happening? What's happening here? Right, well, I have a knight jump attacking that bishop, don't I? Knight g5 looks very tempting. Let's go for it, because then in some positions, I might have a cheeky queen takes h7 check mate. Now, this opening, I actually had a very similar opening against... Um, David Howe, probably the English chess player at this moment in time, Mr. David Howe, very, very strong player. And I know a little bit about it. So my idea generally is to go B4, Bishop B2 is my next two moves. So let's see if I can get that in. B4, Bishop B2, and try to get rid of the defender of the H7 pawn. Of course, I sacrificed uh, a pawn here, but um, it looks like i got a pretty decent attacking position so do we need to defend that pawn can we take there i mean defending the pawn perfectly sensible move but uh, maybe i should do because this knight very badly placed it of course it gives him time to move this one away um let's bring the boys in shall we bishop here or should we just play nice and calmly and retreat the horsey don't ever call it horsey that's an insult to chess. Um, I have lots of interest in his queen takes queen here, but I kind of like keep the pressure on bishop f4. Right, let's just play. Let's play a move, shall we? Uh, knight somewhere. Um, I want to keep my bishop open, hence why I've moved my knight to the square. And now I'm just going to go for quick development in this position and try to play against my opponent's um, rather dubious knight there my that's why i put the knight on h3 to bring it back around and okay so i've taken a knight here well let, let's just uh let's uh that's quite tempting isn't it or oh, i have knight here straight away uh okay my opponent's defending quite well i didn't really make best use of any potential advantage i might have had 
in this position, I don't think. But I've still got a little bit of pressure with my two raping bishops. Uh, not sure that's a very good analogy for Christmas, is it? But you, you know what I mean. My two strong bishops. Yeah, that, that's that's better. Christmassy bishops. Uh, yeah, something like that. You know what I mean. Okay, right. So am I going to get enough pressure against my opponent's position here? Well, let's uh, let's keep trying to just do a bit of annoying moves here. Uh, he's got really high rating. This would be a great start if I could win this game, wouldn't it? It would be a very good way to start my little... Uh... Okay, so what are we doing? Let's just move this one. Oh, he's going to go knight there, is he? Um, Okie doke. Let's... No, he can't go knight there because I'll take there. Okay. What am I doing? I'm moving so slow. Move quicker, Simon. Quicker. This is really far too slow um, for... Okay, right. I've just got to turn, turn the turbo on. Turn the turbo on, okay, and that one's coming across there, some attack, right, maybe over here, put all my pieces near my opponent's king, turbo time, right, okay, and, okay, defend and attack, defend and attack, forwards, ah, oh, gotta be quick, gotta be quick, oh my words, there, that's the one, that's the one, take that, take that, Sonny Jim, oh, look at my, oh, yeah, look at my pieces, oh, yeah, Oh, they're loving it. They're having, the time. They're having a, a great little Christmas time here. But am I going to crack up as I normally do? Oh, no. Don't lose on time. Just don't lose on time. Don't. Don't lose on time. Don't. Don't lose on time. Don't even think about it. Okay. No. 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 No, Simon. No. No. Come on. Quick. I'm not very quick, am I? No, let's get rid of that pawn so I can't lose on time. And now e-pawn comes. Come on, e-pawn. Let's just avoid any tricks and get a queen. Oh, no. Oh, no! What a patser. What a Christmas patser I am. How can I? <laughs> oh, dear. You can see I'm just, I am just haven't really got the speed I should have. That was a pretty good game, I thought, as well, you know? It was a good game until I, I, until I stalemated my opponent. Oh, my words. What an idiot. I mean, how, how many GMs actually do stalemate? The first game I stalemate my opponent. Just just call me a Christmas patser. That was that was actually quite embarrassing. Um, even when I had one second on the clock, you should really not be stalemating your opponent. But, oh, well, hey-ho. Hey-ho. Do I care? Let's, let's onwards and upwards, men, as they say. Onwards and upwards. Okay, now, back to the classical Dutch. And in this opening, I nearly always try to ram forwards with the move e5. This is uh, the normal way to try to play uh, the classical Dutch e5. And you get these pawns in the center, and you try to just uh, create some attacking chances. This is why I made this rather, these rather what looked like peculiar moves, I'm moving my bishop here, my queen here, because all these moves support um, this pawn. Now my opponent is going for a strategy of b5. I'm going to try to go f4 and use oh Freddy the f pawn. No stalemating in this game. Um, I've got to sort of get my get my uh, blitz arm going. Get it going. Do my blitz exercises. You know what's it? The wrist. Yeah, get the wrist going. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's it. Sweeten it out a little bit. Yeah, get it going. Do it. Exercise. Right, there it is. The the mouse wrist is now ready. Ready for action. Um, I do find that some people are a lot better with their wrists than other people. And I um, don't know why that is. Anyway, uh, yes. Um, right, so what's going on here? What is going on here? Well, uh, he wants to come in, doesn't he? Let's just do a little probe over there, shall we? I think if he comes in, I've got an idea. I'm going to go a4 and knight b6. That is my crafty idea. Uh, but I forgot he'd go knight takes a4. Scheiser, as they say in um, Germany. Um, that was a bit stupid. I could have just moved my knight there. I thought knight e6. Okay, he's, he's, he's not doing that. Um, this knight jump's quite annoying. So maybe I will just stop that knight coming in. I know, it, I know it's a rather negative move. But sometimes in life, the great philosopher, um, Magnus Carlsen, once said that to go forwards in life, you have to go backwards. Thank you, Magnus Carlsen, for those very 
very wise words um okay but my position yeah he's got he's got a lot of control on these light squares so he's probably a bit better i haven't really made anything of the opening and now he's gonna come in with some very annoying moves um and what am i doing i need to kick this little guy away don't i um now should i open up the position over here um what am i doing i need to attack this one he's coming here with a knight okay i see his plan and right well let's let's just play some moves reasonably quick um yeah my position is actually smell e e to the a smell e e e smelly okay right i don't know let's let's just go in let's just try to use the the only pieces that are activated i'm going to try to use here and i want to open up my bishop to h3 so i can get some desperado attack hopefully brewing in the air that's the idea something like you know but i, I don't know my pawn could be weak i want to try and get my queen over here and sack sack checkmate now I don't know. I don't think that's going to work unless I get some reinforcements in. I, the position's smelly. Let's just. There's no beating around the bush. There's no point trying to trying to beat this one. Beat this one off. Let's just uh, let's just admit it's smelly, Simon, isn't it? And I'm probably going to lose the e5 pawn. Okay, doke. Right. Well, let's continue with this. And now things are going from bad to worse. Um, okie doke, okie doke. I say okie doke, I don't know what I'm doking about. Okay, right, okay, I've got to move quick and try some hustle here. Uh, not the best, not the best of games, this one. I'll, I'll try to see if I can bounce back in the next one if indeed he wants to play again because he has got a rather high rating to be playing me. And I'm just going to try to get opposite coloured bishops because that should give me more chances. Um, I don't know. If it's going to be enough, but okay, he's getting quite short time. And to be fair, this guy really does deserve to lose on time in this game after the the travesty that happened in the first game. So I'm going to try to create as much as we say in the trade. This is another quote of the great Magnus Carlsen: "Billy bullshit." Um, we're going to create as much Billy Bull Scheiser as we can. So in we go. Come on, Billy. Do, 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 do. Billy, 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 the bullshitter. Billy, the bullshitter. Go run, 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 run. Okay, right. So we're creating quite a lot of Billy here. Um, and there's another bit of Billy for you, son. Right, okay. So what is happening here? I mean, this is not looking too tragic, is it? Um, if I can take everything on the board. If I get rid of his last pawn, I may even... Should I, should I dare I say... Oh yeah, there we go. Lovely, I won. That is a that's that's it's a day of Billy today. Right, back to some E4 craziness now. And now let's play the delayed wing gambit. Um if I get a chance. So okay. Now now I'm just gonna develop with speed. And right, so the whole idea of going A3 is to go B4. If you can't go B4 in life, then uh, well, what are you doing? So let's just push that there, because at least his knight has no natural developing square. My bishop looks best on g2 in these kind of positions, um, I would imagine. And now my bishop on f4 is quite a useful little square, is it not? Um, and here, I was hoping that he may find some troublesome things on the long diagonal. So let's see if I'm correct in thinking this or not. So knight here, knight takes c3, knight takes here. That looks quite tempting. And, well, this looks quite promising at the moment, I'd say. And what do we do? How do we increase the pressure here? Because um, <clears throat> he's going to go bishop b7. Uh, then, all right, well, if in doubt, throw your queen towards his king. As quoted by the great Magnus Carlsen. Okay, so what do we do now? Well... As quoted by Magnus Carlsen, keep the pieces coming. Keep them coming! I think that's what Magnus said on Christmas Day, last Christmas, I believe. Okay, well, a couple of ideas here. Uh, one is knight to d6. Um, and the other one's knight to g5. So both of them start an attack. Now, I don't know which one's best, so I'm just going to castle. And I will 
probably now. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna go knight here now. That's his uh, plan of plan. I could put that one in, couldn't I? Let's put that one in. And my knight on c4. Maybe I'm not gonna go for checkmate anymore. But my knight on c4 is actually a very decent piece. So aha. Uh -huh. So he's trying to swap this one off like this. Okay. Well, let's get the queen on the long diagonal. All right. Well, he's defended well. I think I had some some edge at some point in this game, but my opponent is uh, obviously playing well, and I'm getting short of time here, so I need to sort of speed up a little bit. And okay, let's 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 go for f4, f5. Again, generation, generating attacks is the key. Um, now, knight f6, knight e4. All looks very natural. I mean, f4 is a bit of a committal move because uh, I'm not really generating a massive attack. And my, my king can also become um, quite weak in these positions. So it's more to hold the square, this, this f4 move. It's more to grab some squares in the center of the board at the moment. You know, control, as we see here, the e5 square. And sometimes I have ideas of c3 now. Other ideas, if he, if he doesn't exchange queens, if he does exchange queens, what do I take with? Well, if he doesn't exchange queens, I was, I was, I was hoping I'd go here. Because I, don't, I can't go c3 quite yet because of knight takes d3. So this is the idea, attack the queen. And now some endings I think, uh, well, my c2 pawn's weak, so maybe I'm overestimating my chances here. But uh, I, still, I still don't mind this ending at all. It's not... It's not so bad, um, I don't think. Could be wrong actually, because his pieces are very well positioned. His knight is actually very, it's a very good plan. My opponent played of putting his knight there. Okay, well he's, he wants to come and take that one, so we need to come and try to take on a seven again. The clock is key, and I got c four as a nasty threat. That's one thing he really will do well to avoid. C four winning a piece here. Um, maybe he can go rook to. Okay, so here, let's grab this pawn and try to convert. So, and we'll go b6, of course. And now here, because if his king comes across, I have a... I said I have a check, but I don't actually, do I? Maybe I've got my pieces in a bit of a bit of a situation here. Um, okay, trying to run the king in, I think. So you're going to go knight here and take here, but then I have some checks and take here. So right, yo. So he's going to go here, of course. And now it's very, it's very annoying that I don't have this check, isn't it? If he takes here, do I have a b7? No, he takes there. What am I talking about? So um, well, I mean, I could just gobble a lot of pawns, but I think I might have to. I think I might have to give this, this, uh, this one, this piece up. To take as many pawns as I can, get some ending like this, and just try to throw Harry up the board. Uh, it's quite easy to play in no time as well. This position, maybe not entirely correct the way I played this, but Harry, Harry, Harry's annoying, annoying little guy here, annoying little piece. Now, if he checks here, do I go King G2, Knight here, check King here, Knight F3. He gets. His, I don't want to get. I don't allow his rook. My king should probably come towards the center. Um, probably should try to come this way. So still, still a slightly unbalanced position. I'm sure black's better here, but it's um, unbalanced indeed. So yeah, he had to check to get his rook behind in some positions. And now my idea is to get my king as far advanced as I can, because my rook's very well positioned here, of course. And then try to use a combination of my two pawns, maybe, to advance like this. Okay, so actually this is this is far from clear now. I mean, uh, look, I've got simple plans here, and of just trying to queen my pawns. And I like simple plans like this, so I've got to be careful where I made this. There was a check there, so let's not fall into any nasty checks. And now I want to queen these guys. Come on, come a queen, come a queen, my friends, come a queen. Happy days. There we go. There we go. This is a good little session so far. More Boxing Day chess for me. Maybe turkey is the magic ingredients needed. Right, so can I get back to the magic, the magical 2500 mark? Well, let's not count count those uh, turkeys yet, shall we? Okay, so 
we're going to go for quite a positional setup here. Um, and again, a bit like, shall we say, my favourite Dutch opening. The main idea is for me to push with e5 probably, but now, now actually f5, transposing back into a Dutch looks entirely sensible option. Okay, we'll take that one and get my e5 in. So it's often in these structures I find about getting e5 and f5 to get these pawns just creating some annoyances for the opponent. You know, in the Dutch e5 and the classical Dutch is one of the key, key moves. Now, if I go e4, I block it off too much and it's going to be very hard to win that position. Um, now, I'd love to get my knight into the square. So... I'm going to have to go g6 and knight here and knight e4. And then I've got lovely, lovely... I mean, this is a lovely outpost. When you see an outpost being created, obviously... Oh, he's got bishop here now. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's a good positional move. I forgot about that. Obviously, trying to exchange my knight off as soon as it comes... Tries to come into e4. A good positional play uh, from my opponent there. Makes a lot of sense, of course. Um, Okie doke. So... Um, but now I can come the other way, so, but it, my bishop is blocked. All right, well, let's maybe, let's maybe try to go here. Mm, yeah, it's a good, good, good plan he came up with there. And my dark square is actually, I don't, I don't know, I don't, don't like this so much now. I'm going to go this way, because I, I kind of want him now to take his dark square bishop uh, to exchange this one off, I think. Because this piece could be extremely strong if it gets around on this long long diagonal um okay well let's not allow my bishop to become a suffocated bishop even though i create some weaknesses in my pawns i've got to give life to my pieces and well i think this is perfectly fine because i have my queen coming in and a lot of squares certainly it looks about e even i mean this is just roughly even position okay i'm going to get rid of my pawn weakness now now, maybe you should go c5 here. And, well, I mean, you're not going to get much more equal than this, are you, in a game of chess? Time is an issue, though. Okay. Now, let's... Uh, I could go for an ending with this one, but I don't think that's entirely necessarily yet. I'm going to go queen c5, because my pawn will become weak then, and I'm only playing for a draw, really, there. Uh, okay, block off this thing. Maybe I should have done that last move. And now I need to activate my rooks somehow. Okay, let's try to get my queen, queen in here. Very slow I am today. Okay, quick, 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 quick. So I'm thinking ideas of b5, rook c2, but he has rook here, d2, blocking that. Um, put pawn on h4, gives, gives me some potential later on to get something to g3 okay nice play from my opponent there maneuvering into this active square and now we can see my idea of trying to get queen to g3 well the idea of pushing my pawn this far it was of course to get a, a piece to the square now bishop d3 maybe has to be played by him then i can take get my queen to c1 Oh, this looks very risky way for him to play. And now, of course, I have this move. Oh, he has bishop here. Oh, no, he doesn't have rook takes bishop. I have this move. I, I mean, again, this I mentioned this idea earlier just to try to allow my bishop to enter in. So if you use this somewhere, if he takes pawn, rook c1, game over. So he's got to go bishop d3. This looks uh, false. But then I go rook c1 anyway. So the idea is, is to go rook c1 next move. And... Then to, of course, try to divert his queen away from defence of g2. Oh yeah! I wish you a Merry Christmas. Yes, I do. Oh, we're loving it. We're loving it. Okay, now we're going to try... Let's try an English defence for a change. English opening. So, God, Christmas turkey is, is doing its job today. We're loving the Christmas turkey. Right, okay. So, English opening is... An opening um, which I've pl used to play up to the age of about 18. And it did me reasonably well. I mean, I, I, 
I've got two DVDs out for Chess Base, actually, not for Ginger GM, on the opening. It got me to IM strength, basically. I only used the English opening, and it got me to international master level, just, just this opening. So it's it's a good opening, you know. It's, it's certainly a solid, quite positional way to play, but... I mean, I, I, I've, you know, done quite well with it in the past. Okay, right. Now we have what is, oh, defined as, shall we say, a traditional kind of Maroxy bind position. My opponent's pieces are quite handy here. Now this is a quite committal move. So, you know, it weakens my king, but um, I don't know if it's a good idea or not to play moves like this, you know, when your king... Okay, my opponent is obviously angry, so he's he's coming for the kill. Who can blame him? Right. And now I've got to stop his queen coming over here. So knight here is the natural move. Um, and I've obviously, if I can get queen d6 in, I can also defend like this. So he's trying to move his rook over now. Okay, makes sense. Uh, now, do I do I go extra defensive with bishop here? Uh, let's try. Material up, so, you know, we can... Also play defensively. I, I don't know. That was a bit. That was a little bit negative. Moving my bishop hat key. I, I I saw some ideas of coming around here and just putting it on g3. But his bishop here is very strong piece. I don't know. I, I don't really like my. I don't really like this maneuver. I did it. It seemed a little bit, a little bit negative. Um, the way I played that, to be honest. Uh, so far, it seems I'm defending this position. But I like the way my opponent's played this. He's, 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 he's not backing down. He's going for the attack. So this is good play. Now I'm hoping at some point I want to play the c5 move. Because I want to block his bishop off from attacking my f2 square. And uh, this is a, a logical way to play. And maybe open up the d-file for my queen as well. So that makes some makes some sense. Of course, I, I, I don't mind giving back a pawn. If I can, right, what have I fallen into here? So something nasty is going to happen to me, is it? Okay, well, let's find out. I have to take with a pawn. And now I have to take this one, don't I? I can't allow him to do anything here. He's got a nasty pin on my bishop. Can I, do I have any other options here? Like queen e3. Then rook here. Well, let's try queen e3. I have to stop knight takes pawn, but this looks very risky. Because I, maybe I need my bishop to go back to g3 in some positions uh, to, to defend my king as well as I can. Something like bishop g3, and just to try and consolidate my king as much as possible by just placing that bishop on g3. Um, I didn't like taking the knight because this pin on my g2 bishop is so hard to break. Um... And his dark squares could become very strong if he gets his bishop to b8, for example. Okay. Now, again, what do we do here? So, something like rook here looks like a normal normal way to play. I've got to, or The thing is, when you're defending positions like this, there's so many tactics you have to watch out for. Um, there's always some hit, some, some, you know, tactical idea that your opponent might be able to play now i'm going to get my king out the rook's line i think that makes that makes a lot of sense um and now do i put my rook on d1 try to take on d6 yeah of course i do maybe i should have done that last move um but there's nothing wrong with being overly protective now oh is a okay so here now can i take here rook takes bishop takes here well, let's try that one. If I get pieces off the board, I'm going to be very happy. So the idea, rook takes d6, bishop takes e5. little intermezzo move there. And this keeps... Well, I mean, I think I'm defending this position, am I not? So here... Okay, well, I'll take that one. I'm not really sure quite what my opponent was up to there. Oh, he's got this check. Okay. And... Well, I'm going to take the queen, obviously. And I should just be a piece up at the end of the complications there. Indeed, there we go. Wow. Well, this is looking good, yeah? I mean, I'm getting quite near 2,500. If I can get... Oh, here we go. He's obviously 
really pissed off with the way things are going. I love it. I love it when my opponent starts throwing mental Harry up the board. I'm the man of the Harry. Now, he'll probably win this one because he's uh, thrown old Harry the H-Pawn straight at me. And, you know, that is just one of the best ideas you can do in chess, isn't it? Clearly not. Well, it is. It is in some ways. But look, you have to have the skill to be able to get the Harry manoeuvre to work. Does my opponent have the skill? We will see. We will see. Okay, right. Now, again, I'm going to stick with my normal idea. I could go d5, could play a stone wall structure, but I, I don't see the need to. My opponent moving at speed of light now. You can tell he's really angry. He's like, ah, oh, this bloody Williams. Oh, oh, no Christmas for me no more. Christmas has been cancelled. Okay. <coughs> again, a fairly even position. His pawn is actually looking pretty damn good there. I'll give him credit. You know, his queen can come in somewhere like this. Um, and he's trying to generate an attack. But on the other hand, I'm not going to sit there and let him just have all the fun, hopefully. I'm going to try to get going against his his guy here. His guy is actually called a king, I believe. That's what it's called, a king. Okay. Whilst trying to keep my king side closed here. So, don't know, fairly even position. His knight looks incredibly strong at the moment. And I have to watch out for... Knight takes here and h7, don't I? Whoa. See, so many tricks in chess. Um, so do I go queen c5? Endings are right for me, aren't they? Um, knight takes here. It's, anno it's an annoying move. Let's, let's get the queens off because my king is still in more danger than my opponent's king. Now, he can just go queen takes pawn here. So it's a bit of a bluff on my part, actually, when his queen can try to come into d7. I kind of... Uh, you know, you've got to bluff a little bit in chess, haven't you? So the queen takes pawn and trying to come into d7. Because I wanted to go rook a8, but then I realised he's going queen d7. And he's got this... See, the h-pawn, old Harryena, you know, has come come to bite me in the tail a little bit there. He's taking the queens off. That surprises me a little bit. Um, you know, if I can budge his knight, I'm going to have a fantastic position. So... I don't want to allow him to play c4, so hence why I'm going to play it first. It's all about his knight, though. I need to, I need to budge this knight. My bishop is a crap piece, so I need to get my king to d6 or f6, and make sure he can never support his knight with a move like f4. So how am I going to arrange this kind of this kind of thing? Well, not easy to see, to be an actual fact. Maybe I should uh, first of all. Make sure I he doesn't have too many breaks. Because he's got I think he's better here because he's got F3 and he's got B3, both of these breaks. And both of them I have to I have to be a little bit worried about. So I'm gonna okay. Now I can't move my king cross still. Okay, let's go here and try to put my bishop here, defends all the squares, and now my king can try to get to d6. So this is uh, what I'm attempting to do. Of course, I again, I want to try to stop him breaking out with b3, which is played anyway. Um, but I have my bishop to a4. So I don't know. This is uh, bishop a4, rook a1. Okay. So, right. Well, let's, let's keep bringing the king. Got it. I mean, the whole point of my play as we can see, is to try, it has been, to get his knight away from this strong square. And it's taken me a lot of moves to try to do this. Now, what is happening after simply b2? Because if he checks me, okay, I'll just go king d6 anyway. Um, well, I'm going to go king d6. And now, oh, okay, I fell into that one like a kipper. So my whole plan has uh, been a little bit flawed. But okay, I've got this knight away now. He has this check. Don't fall for any tricks. That's an annoying check. Uh, why have I put my king on such a silly square? My whole plan was... Well, okay. Time. Right, quick. Quick, Simon. Quick. The position's still okay because I have this very nice pin. But the time is not good. I need to coordinate, connect my rooks here. Get my rook back round into the game. Now, is this idea to go c4? Why there? That's just like a nothing move, I, I think. It's a tricky move to me to deal with, but it's uh, not a particularly scary move either, is it? 
Um, okay. Ah, but I'm slow. Okay, I'm just going to repeat once. Okay, and now he's got C4. Ah, okay. Yes, he's got me here, hasn't he? He's got he's got me in this one. Um, it had to happen, and also on time he's got me. So. Uh, right. Yeah. Now his H pawn. See, this is the way to play. You see, this is the way to play. Get the H pawn going. You know, and then you win the game. I might, I might try that little crafty tactic that my opponent played there. You know, get the H pawn rolling, and uh, win the game like that. Okay. Now, do I have some dirty draw by perpetual? Well, he can take my pawn. So it was, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a punt there. A bit of a punt. Okay, we lost that one. You can't win them all. Let's see. Let's see if we can get. Okay, right. Back to d4, and I might try this early Harry move. Yeah, if it works for him, it can work for me. Come on. I you know, see. This is a way to play chess. Just throw Harry up the board. Look at him go. He's a he's a real soldier. That one. He's a real soldier. Okay. And now, well, this is a sensible normal position. I'm going to try to play e4 if I can. And I'm going to move quicker in this game because that kind of let me down. I kind of, I kind of, my position was fine in the last game, but time um, let me down. And now I have a natural plan of pushing the a pawn and checkmating him. It's very kind of him to castle this way. I really didn't see why he needed to do that. Now I could go b4, but I'm just going to. I don't. I, I don't. Again, you, you know, sacrificing things like that is fine, but only only if there's some desperation to your position. And to be honest. I think at the moment I can just prepare this b4 move without sacrificing it. b4, a5. My attack must come first because I got rid of this good defensive bishop. So I'm, it's the fight for 2500. Come on. I'm, I'm so close. So close to 2500. Let's see if I can get there. What's it? Two more games? Two more wins? Maybe three more? Something like that. Because I dropped back down again a while back. I was a bit, you know, excuses. Let's come up with some excuses. Well, I played Nakamura as Proy, so he crushed me. Crushed me like a fly. And, uh, oh, that's a committal move, isn't it? Um, I'll take that one. Maybe he had to play that, otherwise his... Uh, his uh, well, I'm going to go C3. Same idea, B4. We're not, we're not going to... We're not going to have this guy stopping me. And now we're going to surely play B4. Yeah. Let's not play too... Do too negatively open him up all my pieces are over here let's open him up on that side of the position and speed is the key so yeah i, I dropped a bit of rating how were how's everyone else's christmas by the way um i'm probably not gonna be doing any videos for a while because i'm uh tomorrow i'm commentating uh, one day and then the day after tomorrow i'm actually well actually tomorrow tomorrow afternoon i'm heading down to hastings the longest running uh, chess tournament in the history of chess, Hastings. is a great, great tournament, but I haven't played the last two years. So I'm going to pop down there. Okay, let me just work this out. Because I've got pawn takes, he takes here, and I've got take here. And then my queen comes in, I get the attack. Now if I go knight here, he has this annoying little check here. I've fallen into that one. So... I'm going to have to sacrifice it. That's annoying. I shouldn't have allowed that one, should I? Okay, shouldn't have allowed all this counterplay my opponent has generated. So, okay. Yeah, so I'm off to Hastings for a couple of weeks. And that's going to be... Oh, dear, it's looking a bit scary now. A bit sketchy, should we say. Here, knight f3 check. King f1 takes here. King takes queen d2 check. King here. Let's try it. I don't know. I'm a little, you know, to say to say I'm not afraid here is uh, is an understatement. Because I'm thinking knight f3, king f1. He might even have a draw there. Knight check. Oh, I can go king here, knight there, then take it. Knight f3, king f1. Rook takes f2, king takes f2. And if queen d2 check, I have king g3. And I'm hoping in that position my opponent has no more checks. And here, well, it's clear to see I'm trying to get my attack in first with queen takes b6, but a very sharp and complex position here. Um, 
with numerous tactical opportunities. So knight here check is the most scary move, and obviously that's what my opponent is trying to uh, work out now. And I've got a nice minute advantage on time, because if, if this works, then obviously it wins. So we'll soon find out. But my attack is very quick here, and I, I couldn't see how this does work. Knight h2, king e1. Um, obviously not going for a draw. If the knight comes back to f3, then I can take it. So I did calculate this. This one. So again, avoid the checks. Where do I go to avoid the checks? Now, if I take here, he's checking. I should be able to escape the checks here. Let's get rid of that knight anyway. I should be able to get rid of out of the checks. I'm gonna come in here eventually, and then come into f1. I don't think he'll be able to keep checking me. When I here, well, I can go here and queen e2. But here, check here, queen e3, or here, and I go king here. That looks like it escapes the checks. Okay, so here he checks me. Oh, oh I totally forgot about h6. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, what an idiot. I could have just played that so much easier. Yeah, that was really silly. Uh, all I need to do is spend another five seconds there. So that was ridiculous to allow that one. Really silly. Um, yeah, that was really silly. I, I could have um, I could have just avoided the check very simply there, rather than allow allow that to happen. So, okay, let's go for a dim setup. A bit bored of uh, what's happened so far. So, we're gonna just play I don't know some normal normal kind of chess here. Um, don't know this kind of setup though. So, can I go get rid of this? Piece. I don't like that piece. I'm worried about bishop h7. Doesn't seem to work here. I'm going to, I'm going to try to eliminate this knight because that, that's been the bane of my position in a lot of lines. And I've got rid of that knight. Cost me a cut. Got rid of that bishop. It's cost me a couple of tempo, but I've at least got rid of it. And these positions could be very dangerous to black because his queen could come over and the rook could come across. And I know this from experience. Because I've faced this kind of thing myself. Um, well, I've played this kind of thing myself, should I say. Um, now, I'm going to bring my bishop to g7 for a little bit of extra protection here. Uh, should have won that last game. That was, a, that was a big opportunity for me to... Okay, so I'm hoping my position is holding here. After something like knight here. But his pieces are really swarming around me aren't they? they they are swarming like a locus of cockroaches that's what your pieces are sir they're a locus of cockroaches and he has a number of sacrifices here this is kind of unlike me to be on the receiving end of this so this is where the sweats come he can either take e6 or f7 one of these two. Oh, he's gone back well that is really negative I'm sorry, but you don't deserve to win if you're going to go backwards in life. Do you? Do you really? I think his idea is he's weak in G6. Um, so, okay, it's not so bad what he's done. Not so bad at all. And it's very hard. I need to play F6 in this type of position to to uh, to break things up. Um, well, to kick his pieces away. But now, now that I've gone H6, it's very hard to do this, so... So quite clever play, actually, the way he's done this. I won't be too negative. Now, if I go here, he's going to hit me with h4 at some point. Does that worry me? I have e5 here. He can take here, but then I get pawn to e4, and his rook looks a bit funny. Let's try this one to try to try to grab the initiative from my opponent, just because uh, I'm sick of defending. And at least this one, which is a pawn sack in a number of different ways. He can either take on e5 or take on h6. At least tries to hand me the initiative. Um, and it makes a lot of sense. Well, actually, can he take any of the pawns? If he takes on h6, I capture and go king g7. And I'm hoping his rook's check, uh, trapped. Now, if he takes on e5, I was going to go h5. And try to take advantage of the pin on his knight. So e5 looks like, uh, looks like a good move. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I've got so much turkey in the fridge. I don't know about you guys at home, if you enjoy Christmas. Uh, by the way, Merry Christmas again. 
I've got so much turkey in the fridge. There's only so many sandwiches a man can have. At least I'm off to Hastings soon. Otherwise, I'll just, I just wouldn't know what to do with all this turkey. It's just ridiculous. Um, so we'll see. What, what are you supposed to do? Turkey curry? Turkey sandwiches? Turkey this? Turkey that? Yeah, I know. We can try. We can try them all. Um, wow, I mean, the E5 move looked like a, a good break in the centre. Because his, his rook's now in a lot of trouble. I kind of feel like my opponent had, when I went h6, he had some breakthrough move there. Now, in the future, I'm just having a bit of fun today because it's Boxing Day and a little bit of chess, you know. I'm not going to do anything serious analysing any games or analysing my games here. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm letting loose a little bit. And, um, sorry, I've also got to think occasionally. So, in future, when I get back from Hastings, I'll do more uh, more stuff like, you know, um, looking at games, playing longer games, stuff like this, which requires a bit more educating uh, for everyone. So I'll obviously be, uh, um, you know, I'll obviously be looking at stuff, helping you guys out, giving you tips and things like this. Um, at the moment, I'm just playing a bit of Blitz because it's nice and fun and it's easy. So this ending should be fairly straightforward and, you know, exchange up. Okay, let's just annoy his pieces a little bit. And my rook's so active as well. I don't think he has much hope of surviving this one. And two rooks on the seventh can't be bad. Oh, let's grab a pawn, shall we? And we'll put that one there. Okay, let's be a little bit careful because his, uh, his bishop's actually quite a good piece in these positions. Um, and I just need to be a little, a little bit, I say a little bit careful. I mean, it really should be a very easy win this position. You know, if I can't win this, then I've got a lot of time, time, time. That's my only issue here is the clock, of course. Everything else is just. Uh, very, very good. What am I doing? I'm moving slow though, aren't I? Yeah? So I've got to move quicker than this. Okay, come on. God, I'm so slow. What's wrong with me? Okay. Black one. Okay, good, yeah. Thank you. Well, I mean, okay. I mean, maybe, maybe he could have... Uh... Oh, right. One game away. This is the one. This is the one. If I win this one, that'll be a very nice session of chess, I feel. So let, let's just try to, let's get the concentrating hat on, whatever that is. Certainly not my weird Christmas hat. Okay, now I don't know what to do against this D5 move. It's a really annoying move in a C5. I struggled against this before, you know. Um, not a great fan of the Trompowski, but... I should have just stuck to my normal, you know, normal thing in a game like this. But okay, we're we're uh, we're playing normal moves. I mean, how, I mean, this this position should be absolutely fine for my opponent with uh, two bishops and a good centre. Um, I'll just try to try to generate an attack as surprise, surprise. What else to do in life? Okay, and I even forgot he was being a little bit annoying to my pawn there. Okay, so let's uh, try and get some pieces to better squares than they are. So, okay, well, I think I think I'm just gonna have to go for it here. Let's go for it, shall we? Let's just go. Otherwise, positionally, I I, I don't like it, so I'm gonna have to get some tactics going. I mean, here here again, not a very successful opening, because. Uh, you know, his rooks are here. 2,500 again? Can we get there again? This one game. One game. I'm one game away from 2,500. That's all it takes. Just one small win. One small step for a ginger. One large step for mankind, I feel. Coming up here. Um, I mean, I, I, don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing. Because to attack in these type of positions, you kind of need your rook on G1. Um, so, saying that... If I move my knight, his queen will come racing in my position. Um, 
Now, should I sack again? Maybe f6 is a good way to start this one to destroy his king a little bit. Obviously, it's a pawn sack line, but I need to just go go for his king. And if pawn takes, I have two tempting moves. Knight d4. Okay, so he's gone this way. And that now I have a, a number of tempting options. I go here, and I'm going to try to go here and just sack on g6. Try to break through somehow like this. Now, obviously, I need to break through here, otherwise... Otherwise, uh, okay, this this is coming around now. I'm going to take on h5. This is my next way to break through. I'm going to put it on f4 and try to take on h5. Try to break through like this. So I need to sack on one of these pawns. It's the only way to break his defense. And in the meantime, he can. it's very hard for him to get any more pressure against b2. So my simple plan, knight f4, knight takes h5. I don't think I could have taken on g6 last move. I don't know. Maybe I could have, but... This seems like a nice maneuver. Knight f4, knight takes h5, and then obviously if he takes my knight, he'd probably get mated. So, okay, now I could play here first, because here, am I worried about this? Here, bishop e3 takes, bishop takes g5. No, I think I'll just go here. And I, well, okay, let, let's just continue with the plan. There's no point. Uh, I think opening this file, I shouldn't concern myself about this. If he takes here, the bishop. Now I have bishop g6 going for glory. Or maybe I just go back here. So I don't want his queen to come into e3. Exchange of queens, I can't checkmate him anymore. So this makes more sense. And now it might be time to start throwing queen to g4, for example. And try to get my queen into into his king side here this would be the most natural way to continue queen g4 okay so he's going to try to counter this by going there but okay let's let's go for it a race scenario here now if he goes here i can take on g6 or i could simply go here first okay he's gone here and now why oh, he's got queen to this square crafty little guy well, i got Bishop takes here. Bishop takes g6. Let's go for that. It's complicated. Messy. I don't think there's any danger at the moment to my king. And I'm slowly opening up his king. Maybe he has to take me. And then I was going to go f7 takes, queen takes king here. It should be good for me. Now, where is the win? Where is the win? If I go queen here, he takes my rook. If I go bishop here, queen takes rook g1. Let's check. Bolax. Okay. He's defending well. He's defending well. Um, is there a win? Is there, is there a win? Bishop here check. Takes. No checks for me there. And if I move this, he comes in. So it's a very good defensive move he's played. Now, Okay. Ah, it's been too long as well. Good defense by my opponent, though. All credit to my opponent for finding that move. Ah, I don't want to play that, do I? Balax! Okay, that's not good. Not good. Going to have to play quick here as well. Very quick. Very, very quick. Ah, I don't like it. Messed it up. Shite. That's really annoying. I should have... That was my game, wasn't it? And I'm not going to do this one, even though my position's fine here. Probably. It's... I'm not going to do this on time, am I? I've got... No, I've got two seconds. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm probably actually winning here, you know? Not... Ah! Ah! So close! Again! Again, so close, it's so far. Right, anyway, that's the way it goes. So let's um, see how we can get on now. So, okay, he's playing a load of rubbish now because he realises he can't beat me by playing normal ideas. So it's fine, we don't mind this. We can happily allow him because my aim is to get 2,500. That's my one big aim. So we'll allow him to play his rubbish, which I have to say, obviously, I've played as well on numerous occasions. Um, and 
let's now try to crush him, shall we? Um, come through. Let's just try to come through the center and put my bishop on b7. This looks like the way to play. That last move could have been the game, though, so obviously a bit annoying because that would have got me over 2,500. I was so close. looked like my attack was destroying him, and now it would take me another two games. But, you know, I don't think this guy's uh, particularly great, to be honest. So not not too worried. Okay. All right, Tio. So here we go. It's got very it's got very high rating. I mean, I don't understand how some of these guys get these ratings somehow. Um, let's play this. Use use the center. Let's see why not. And now let's put my pieces on good squares. Logical. Rook on d8. Something along these lines. And. Yeah, you can do that if you want. So he's trying to be a mischievous. Okay, well, I'll put a rook on d8 anyway. And how do I start an attack here? I mean, I, I think I'm just trying to come through the center here with logical play. Like, you know, at some point take on take on uh, e3. Um, oh, my pawn's a little bit weak. If I go here, I can take here. Right, he's playing this, so... All right, let's let's try to break through the middle. So a little bit silly of me uh, that last game. I kind of feel I should have a good move here. I might even call it a day and wait for another one if I if I lose this one. So because if I go here, he goes knight here, and I have some annoying things to deal with. Go okay, here, he takes here. Very slow I am. Okay, well, let, let's just take that pawn. That makes sense. And now do this. With E3 ideas. Well, certainly I've made the best of my my opening, but it still, still looks like totally fine, this one. I can't be worse if, you know, my pieces are quite well positioned. Yeah, he has knight f5 ideas, which I think he should play. Gonna try to get rid of some of his active pieces now. His rook here was uh, certainly an annoyance, so I'm gonna aim to swap this one off. And I won't take with a knight here because there's a queen coming over here, isn't there? Uh, so I'll take with a bishop. Okay, trying to get my pieces to good squares. Time as well. Time. Time is an issue. What am I doing? That's my move, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's 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 hit that one. And now I'm hoping this is a good move. But he has that trick. Oh, it's an annoying game to lose. I think I've had enough after this game. It's certainly a game that should never be lost. I mean, I don't think this guy is that good, as I've said, but he seems to just be very quick, which is uh, which is annoying, you know. And sometimes it's quite hard to play against these guys because, you know, you should beat him in the long run. But the issue is, like, you know, as soon as you start, like, spending a bit too much time and thinking, you know, um, you're just going to lose. You're just going to lose on time eventually. So that's uh, I think that's the issue i got here. But, well... Okay, it's still a quite nice score. If I lose this one, 6-4, so I'll be happy with that. And it's been a bit of a long session as well for me on Boxing Day. I uh, didn't quite get over 2,500, but it was uh, some interesting chess being played. There were some good moments. I'm still annoyed with that last uh, game, to be honest, because I think that was that should have been my one chance to uh, to do the business, shouldn't it? So, you know, that was quite annoying. Okay, so what do I go? I don't really like the idea of moving my piece here. I think I'm in. I think I think something's gone wrong in this game anyway. So, not too too worried about how things will finish. Okay, well that's that's. Oh, uh, keep forgetting he has. Oh, it's not mate, is it though? Now, <sighs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, so obviously he didn't bother calculating that at all because uh, otherwise he probably would have taken my bishop. I would have thought. And again, if I don't get ah, oh, lost, I've fallen for a little 
Oh, well, I mean, why don't you... Okay, he could have mated me in one move there as well. But the way he's played it is good enough. And I'm getting a bit too slow now. The turkey, the, the second win of turkey is coming in. So <laughs> I think it's time after this one to call it a day. And we'll live to fight another day, won't we? Yes, we will. And there we go. Well, peace is coming in. So good stuff. All right, so that's enough chess for me. I think I've had it now. Um, and I'll oh, just say good games. So there we go. And that's enough for me. All right, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. So there we go. I'm out of there. We're out of there. And thank you all for watching um, that little session of Blitz. And like I say, I won't be around for a while now because uh, I'm off to Hastings. Try and play some chess. And got some things I need to do today. Thank you for tuning in. Um, quite a fun little session there. And it was all about Harry, wasn't it? At the end there, his H-pawn Harry push was doing the job. Some wacky openings he was playing. So a bit embarrassing to lose like that. But it happens, doesn't it? Uh, so thanks for tuning in again. Please like and uh, subscribe. That always helps. Uh, check out my website, gingergm.com. If you want to support the channel, go to the shop and buy a DVD, digital download. Quite easy to do. I think they're very high quality. And in future, when I get back, I'll do some more tutorial stuff, some more looking at things, looking at games and stuff like that. But for now, that's good enough for me. Cheers. Have a great Christmas and have a happy new year. Thank you very much. Good night.